Target marketing strikes again. Been seeing ads for these all over the place and I've been fighting the urge to buy them for months, but it's in the name of science. So these are Better Bagel, the Better Bagel. This is a low carb, high protein bagel. I used to eat those P28 bagels for a really long time. They just fell off the face of the earth. I don't know what happened to them. The company just went away. Maybe they'll come back at some point, but I really liked those. It was a different texture than a regular bagel. So I kind of have that expectation for these. It was very chewy when you had it just plain, but if you toasted it, it was actually really, really good. and had 28 grams of protein. And now I see these, so maybe they'll be similar. These bagels are 195 calories, 5.5 grams of fat, 23 carbs, 18 fiber, high fiber, and then 27 grams of protein. So 27 grams of protein is really high. That's why I had to buy these. They're expensive. Whenever I buy protein snacks, I kind of just black out and try to forget how much that I spent. And I probably should have looked it up because I truly don't remember, but there's four bagels in here. With shipping, I'm pretty sure it was like $12. Don't quote me on that, but it was somewhere in that range. It was expensive for four bagels for sure. I hope, now based on the photo, like that's a nice looking bagel. So that looks pretty different, but honestly, there's so much more seasoning than the picture. So that looks better to me. Now this one has more of a hole to it. So maybe we'll go based on this one. So it's looking like a bagel. Bottom looks like a bagel, but it's still frozen. So I need to thaw this out and give it a taste. Now these are, this is a full bagel size. For 200 calories and 27 grams of protein, like off the bat, that's crazy impressive. All right, I just threw it in the microwave for about 20 seconds and I sliced it. So here's what the inside looks like. I mean, it does look like a bagel, maybe a little bit, a little bit on the dense side, but not terrible. It has a pretty distinct smell to it, almost sour smelling. Ingredients wise, the main ingredients, water, and then modified wheat starch, wheat protein, potato starch. I don't know, there's a really distinct, sour, almost earthy smell to it. I do wanna taste it before toasting it with anything on it because I'm from New York, Long Island specifically, where we have great bagels and you can just bite into that plain and it's awesome. Not expecting that, obviously, but I know what a bagel should taste like. So let's see if this tastes at all like a regular bagel. Yeah. So this is, this is exactly what I was expecting. It's just like those P28 bagels. It's chewy, but not too chewy where you can't bite into it. Slightly different than a regular bagel, but not enough to deter me from wanting to eat that. To put it simply, you would know that this is not a regular bagel. It's a little more bready than a bagel. You know how bagels kind of have that, that harder shell to them. So this doesn't have that. This is more just like a roll with everything seasoning on it. I'm gonna throw this in the toaster and just butter it. Oh, I have cream cheese. I'll go butter and cream cheese. See if this tastes like a regular bagel. Here we go, I got the bottom toasted, lightly toasted and buttered. No butter spray. We're gonna do this thing real. There's real butter on there. I didn't totally char these because I like lightly toasted, lightly toasted with cream cheese, the top. I figured I'd cream cheese the top because that's where all the seasonings at. That'll taste like an authentic bagel. And the bottom, since there's no seasoning, it's gonna be a little breadier. So I figure I'll just go with the butter. No surprise, so much better toasted. That's still chewier than a regular bagel. A little more on the bready side. When you're dealing with something that's virtually got no carbs at all, that's what you expect. I think it's just the nature of fiber. I don't really know what that distinct flavor is that I'm tasting, that like slightly sour. It's one of the ingredients. Makes it almost taste like a sourdough. So it's not unpleasant, but it is distinct. Cream cheese.
I'm so bad at slicing bagels, so the bottom's really thin and the top's thick. So that led to this part being chewier because it's just too thick. If you have a bagel slicer or you're a normal human being and able to slice the bagel in half normally, that wouldn't be an issue. I don't really have a lot negative to say. I don't love it, but it's pretty good. For the price tag, I don't know how often I would be buying these. P28 was great because the store near me sold them. It was very easy for me to pick up, you know, six bagels. I didn't have to get them shipped frozen. So the price reflected that. In terms of flavor, I do think it's similar. The difference between this bagel and that P28 bagel is that the P28 bagel was a little bit on the sweeter side. So eating it plain, I would have it with peanut butter. I really liked that because it complemented it well. It was a little bit sweet. This is a little more sour. There's a smell to it that is a little bit earthy. That's probably not a great way to explain it, but it's the only word that's coming to my mind. It's not unpleasant though. It's just unique. I wouldn't eat this bagel and be fooled into thinking it's just, you know, a regular bagel. It's breadier, it's a little chewier, but you're at 200 calories, nearly 30 grams of protein, which is really, really good. So it depends on what's important to you. You know, if you're looking for something that tastes identical to a bagel, you're gonna have to make a sacrifice for those nutrition facts. If you make an egg sandwich out of this, a couple eggs, bacon, cheese, you're gonna have 50 grams of protein, quick math, in a sandwich and you know under 500 calories, that's amazing. If you're keto, this would be a fantastic substitute to regular bagels. I love regular bagels. I'm not low carb or keto, so it's obviously a trade-off I don't have to make. But that being said, I honestly was expecting these to be pretty bad. No offense to the company if they see this. I just didn't have high expectations with nearly 30 grams of protein. I thought for sure it was just not gonna taste good and be really rubbery. It's not that. It is slightly chewy, but again, not to the point that it makes it unpleasant. So I like it. It's definitely best toasted. I wouldn't need to plain. Toasted with cream cheese is definitely the move, but making a sandwich, a breakfast sandwich, lunch, whatever, uh, that would definitely take it to the next level. The buttered one is okay, it just doesn't mask the flavor of the bagel enough for me. So I prefer cream cheese or something with a little more flavor on it. But you could do much worse. That's really solid.